Now at five, a manhunt underway just over the border in Illinois after a robbery in Pleasant Prairie. Police say the suspect stole a car, which was later hit by a freight train. Now that vehicle was stolen overnight at a gas station in Pleasant Prairie. Later, about 10 miles away in Zion, Illinois, the car was hit by a train. Our Taylor Lumpkin takes us through the chain of events leading up to the crash and where it all stands tonight. It all started at this BP gas station in Pleasant Prairie. Police say two men with guns robbed a store clerk and then took off. It's just so sad that you can't even go to work without, you know, being felt safe or really go anywhere anymore. So just hope nothing happened to me. Pam Jackson has been a store clerk at this BP gas station for nearly 15 years and says what happened to her co-worker Thursday morning was devastating. It's a really good employee. Yeah. yeah me and her clicked right away. Around 3.30 Thursday morning, Pleasant Prairie police say they responded to a robbery at the BP on Sheridan Road. An employee told officers two men with guns confronted her. They demanded her purse, grabbed her purse from her, and then they also demanded her car keys. Police say at some point shots were fired and the two guys took off in the clerk's car. That car later found hit by a freight train just a few minutes away. It had been pushed for nearly a mile down the tracks in Zion, Illinois. Lake County Sheriff's deputies arrested one man, but they're still looking for a second man who they say may be armed. That individual is out there. Um, Lake County did an extensive search of the area, including drones and canine. Pleasant Prairie's chief reminding people to remain vigilant. Even though these incidents don't occur very frequently in, in, in Pleasant Prairie, um, we see now that they can occur. Police say the BP employee was not hurt during the robbery. Reporting in Pleasant Prairie, Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News.